You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. 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 Watch Nollywood Pictures TV. And you subscribe. 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 You will be happy. Subscribe now. Can I have a word with you? Who are you, please? Hold on. I don't understand. You know me too well to the extent of calling my name and where I come from. You are now making a solo mission to Ozona. Yes. Because a woman of that village has captured your hearts. That means that finally, Ndubizu of Umwaku is thinking about the future. And I wonder, can a man rightly face the future without first dealing with his past? Hold on. What are you saying? I see the future. I see hope. Regrettably, I see the past. You are in the midst. He sees the past. Hold on! Please, please! of Omambala. Can I have a word with you, please? Ndubizu of Umwaku. What do you have to say to me? What is going on? Have I become so popular in Okwele Kingdom that all the people know my name? Why did you call me back? See, I encountered a man here. Some few minutes ago, he said some weird things that I, I don't understand. I immediately followed him to this truck. I did not see him again. Uh, actually, I, I, I saw you having your bath. I, I'm so sorry, uh, but I did what every honorable man would do. I left the stream and came here to wait for you. Please, do you know him? Describe that man. Good. He's elderly, complete gray hairs, 
with dark spots under his eyelids and still athletic. Please, do you know him? He, he, he said something like being in the middle and I don't want to be caught being in the middle. Please. The nakedness of the Omambola woman is different from the nakedness of all the maidens in this kingdom. You have seen the nakedness of Omambola woman and we shall have reason to resurrect the rep. It will happen soon. I, I have apologized to you. I do not know. Please, can, can, can I just say something? Please, just one minute. That we are one with your people is not news. That both communities are under one king is also not news. What is news is that your people of Umwako village are never in a hurry to marry from another village. Oh, nay, nay, nay. That is them. Nay, I am different. Mm, yes, you are. Um, I am pleased that you, a hunter from Umwako village, you have come to my house with this keg of palm wine to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. Nay, nay, I have not just come to ask for asking sake. Nay, I have come to take Nachi and make her my wife. Nay, you, Nachi is like a fountain to me. She, she's the only woman who reminds me of my mother. From the way you are sounding, I am beginning to believe that you have known our Osinachi before now. I have known her for two, two months. No, 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 with due respect, uh, not that kind of known. Uh, I mean, uh, we have been talking and she, she's expecting me to make this move. What I'm just doing is uh, the Nzoba Tokba. As one, somebody from Omar. Of course. We know what Onzabotaba means. It is expected that uh, the suitor makes this uh, move alone. Uh, once he gets acceptance from the girl's parents, he goes back to his family and they plan an elaborate marriage. Nine, please. I have come to you people. I am pleading with you people to accept me. Nachi, here is a young man from Umwako village. Um, he has come here with this keg of palm wine, requesting for your hand in marriage. From what he told uh, my brother Anene and I, uh, it's like uh, both of you have known one another for about two months. And uh, he also said that you know that he's going to come here. Hmm? I have now called you to seek for your 
confirmation. Do you give us permission to accept this palm wine, to drink this palm wine, mm -hmm. and also to ask him to continue with the other moves to make you his wife? Nachi, when I look at you, I, I see my mother, and I know too well that you are that woman that will take her place. What I hear you say is that you wish I'm your wife. I don't just wish, I want to see it. See, Osina, the sun and the moon rise in your eyes. When I come to take you as my wife, you will be the sun and the moonlight that lights up my world. Well, if you want that to happen, you can come and see my father, my village, and your village are very close. I will do that very soon. I'll come and perfect all your plans. Don't ask me. Um, it's like uh, you remembered something. Nachi, if you do not like this man, let us know. If you know him and you like him, also let us know. I've known him for two months, like he said, and... I love him enough to want to be his wife. How could they go next with the Nero Quarter? She's even excited. Um, and Dubizu, based on that confirmation of hers, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to list all the requirements that you're going to bring to make her your wife. Possibly by the last take of the coming month. If you are able to fulfill our condition, then we shall hand her over to you as your wife. Obro <laughs> Nai uh, Nai, can I say something? I do not know how to put this, but uh, my heart is overwhelmed with joy. Uh, all I can say is, I thank you all. It's good, Marikewo. I forgot one. Yeah. Uh, Osnachi, you can enter inside. Yes, yes. Can we move on? Move on, move on. You see, my friend, I will not discourage you, hmm? because uh, I remember something my father told me in the past that uh, a good wife can be found anywhere. Uh, 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 I see. I, I have no business with uh, whatever your father told you. I have already made my decision. I will not marry any maiden from this uh, uh, Omaku village. They are all irresponsible. And I don't want to have an irresponsible woman. <laughs> I don't want to get. Men like you are the reason why many millions will not think twice when they plan to deal with a man. I have even lost count of the number of meetings that you have defiled. It's, it's a pity that you can, you can say such a word. But our meetings are, are, are irresponsible. What can you now call it? I do not call you here for us to discuss the meetings of Omaku. Uh, uh, I just call you because I need your opinion on something. Oh. Opinion on what? Opinion on what? See. On my way to Uzuno, I met a weird man who told me something that I, I'm yet to understand. Things like what? He, he, he said you cannot face the future without dealing with the past. I, immediately I followed him. The next thing, I found myself around the dreaded Omambala stream where I saw a beautiful Omambala woman having a bath. If you see this woman, Hey! What do you mean to tell me that you saw 
a woman of Omambala naked. Yes, I even encountered, uh, uh, I even had an encounter with her. And from the way she abandoned me, it was obvious she was angry. <laughs> I tell you what, you have to suspend every marriage plans that you have and deal with this problem you've just created for yourself. Well, can you see the problem why I said you have a problem? You see, what problem did I create for myself? Hey! Oh, go, go, go. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Lulu. The electrifying god of the people of Omambala yeah. does not take lightly, does not deal lightly with rapists. And men who, you, who look at the nakedness of the women of Omambala. Ha! Any man can rape every other woman from every other village in this kingdom and go scot free. But no, no, no man, no body can rape a woman of Omambala and go scot free. Mark it here, I'm telling you, it is impossible. So let me tell you, you better deal with this rape. You better deal with this rape. See, 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 see. You see, you see my problem with you? Did I tell you that I raped a woman? What, what did you not do? What you bashed in on her? Uh huh. While she was having a bath? Uh huh. <laughs> what do you call that? That is rape, my brother. That is rape. Look, you have to deal with this issue. Or you leave to face the wrath of a woman. <laughs> You have seen the nakedness of Omambala woman, and we shall have reason to resurrect the rap. What are you thinking? I'm disappointed in you. You, you, are, you are just an idiot. idiot you, know. you see, you see someone you don't even know, a strange spirit called woman being a man. That's a man. I just don't, I just don't know. And you begin to follow him. You, you will not an an man. You will enjoy job. Hey, 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 Sometimes I wonder how how both of us are having friends. I don't know how I just came in contact with this with an idiot. This is Ojugo that I brought from the Oracle. I want you to collect it from me. I am surprised at this your visit. I am not in a hurry to receive this kula from the hand of the head of the ambassador of our oracle. What is that kula for? I am here in peace this night. I don't know why you are not collecting this call or not from my hands. We are dragging this matter unnecessarily. It is not always that the priest of the oracle visits a man with cool or not. I have not seen it happen before. That's why I'm asking, what is this cooler for? Wanyego, the former wife of the oracle, died 30 years ago. Are you not aware of that? I don't know her and I don't know why you are asking me about the wife of the oracle. <clears throat> the oracle desires another wife. And you are the person that will make it work. Make it. I don't know what you mean. True, the oracle is the oracle of our land. But the truth of the matter, which you know, is that I do not have any relationship with the oracle. So, 
how am I the person that will make anything work for the oracle? You have a daughter named Osinachi. When this moon becomes full, bring her to the oracle. For she is the next wife of the oracle. And don't ever die the gods. What you're asking me to do is what I will never do. Are you ready to collect this colano from my hand? Or do you want to die the oracle? I will not receive this kola not from your hand because my daughter must be allowed to make her choice. She is the one you came for, not me. When you make up your mind, you can collect the kola not. I shall be waiting for you in the oracle at full moon. And don't you ever dare the oracle. Do they think I'm a fool? Do they think I did not hear them? Is that what they thought? I heard everything. And you know what, Daddy? I would never ever get married to an oracle. Never. Take it easy. Okay? Don't! Don't pick up that corner. Go back to the kitchen. Father, I will not get married to the Oracle. Hey, I got one and daily. 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 I your message. Mm. The color not was not received from my hands, but we left it with the man in his compound. His refusal not to collect the color not from my hands means only one thing. He wants to die the oracle. And I want you to move in your mind and get that woman your choice of wife by yourself. She shall be yours when I come back again. He said, She shall be yours on all your market day. He said, She shall be yours on a for market day. He said, She shall be yours on a for market day. He said, Hmm. 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 I I saw the priests of the oracle when they passed the compound. And I, I, I was wondering where they were going. I never knew they were coming to see my brother. And then one name okay, my brother. You can imagine the kind of picture these people came to paint in my house. 
that Osinachi, my one and only daughter, is going to be the wife of the oracle. And I, Mo, one day we gonna have In law to the oracle. Okay, Kweme, is it possible? <laughs> what did you do? Anene? I told you not to pick that color. Why did you pick it? Is here. The last thing we can afford to start in this family is to give the oracle the impression that we are starting a war. It is not good for the family. There is nothing wrong in Osinashi being the wife to the oracle. What? You are just, you are just, you are just, you are just getting angry for nothing. Have you paused to think about this thing? Do you know the number of goats? The number of cows that men from all other kingdoms sacrifice to the oracle on a weekly basis. When Osinashi is married to the oracle, you are going to become a wedding man. Because all these things that are sacrificed to the oracle shall be coming to you. The family will become rich, wealthier. To me, is here. Wealth is wealth. It does not matter where the word is coming from. See it from that angle. Uncle Anene, now I'm forced to believe that you are the one orchestrating the plan that I get married to the Oracle. But I'm here to tell you that I am a grown woman and I make a choice for myself. And that does not include getting married to an Oracle. No. So go back to them with your colour now to tell them that they have failed. Osinashi is only a woman, a girl, and, and possibly a virgin. She doesn't understand anything. You are the one that must guide her. You are the one that must open her eyes for her to actually understand that this is a blessing for the family. This color not from the oracle, I will go with it and I will see you tomorrow. It cannot afford to stay outside. Mavgish. Kashifu. Hey! Hey! Anene, my brother. Why is he always like this? Huh? Eh? <laughs> Who are you and what are you doing here? Before they come back, they have kept me here for three days, raping me. Who? The priest of the Oracle of Ezebedi. They deceived my people. They came and one of them married me as his wife. They finally brought me into this land. And I found out I was married to the Oracle. A human being is married to the Oracle? That's what I found out. But that was never what I was told. They have refused to let me go back to my people. And they're raping me every day. This is unacceptable. Please help me. What? Who are you? And what are you doing with the woman married to the oracle? I can readily see that both of you are the priest of the Oracle of Osemed that she is talking about. I have listened to this woman and I believe her. You have kept her here for three days, raping her. That is unacceptable. This made me was the priest today of all of us who don't like this person. You called for your death and you shall get it.
for you to come before the king so early means that uh, something is eating you up. Can I hear what it is? Your Majesty, as you go as of Okwele Kingdom, I bow in greeting. I came before you as a loyal servant to make inquiry from the throne. I'm listening. Uh, Your Majesty, I actually came in connection with the oracle. In this land, there are men and women that we call sons and daughters of the oracle because their mothers were married to the oracle. Now, I, I came to ask you, when a woman is married to the oracle, who is the man or who are the men that sleep with that woman to put her in the family way to reproduce sons and daughters for the oracle? Your Majesty. You are asking an irresponsible question. I hope that's not the reason why you are here so early before the king. Your Majesty, that question cannot be said to be useless. It is an important question and I need you to answer it. Because there are too many things going wrong in this kingdom that we need to start in time to address. That's why I'm here. The oracle is a deity and he has always been a deity. Spirit. And we know that there is no way he can metamorphose into a physical entity that will begin to sleep with women. So I, I, I know there are men in this land that are doing that. Who are those men that sleep with these maidens that are married to the oracle? Can tell you can tell me that you can This welcome has expired. Leave the presence of the king now! Listen. Before you bust your face, I want to make an important clarification. Who defended? This man that is sitting down here is the king of this land. He's my king. I am only a loyal subject. I came to the king because I am confused over an issue. I came to ask questions and to seek clarifications. Or are you now telling me that I have no right as a man of this land to come before my king and ask questions and seek clarifications? Is that what you are saying? You are not asking questions. I am not seeking for clarification what you are saying portrays you as biased now i order you to leave my presence huh? now leave leave this palace now i said no leave this palace now i said leave this palace now this, this question leave. this question that i'm asking i said no A man from this land coming to ask me this nonsense question. <sighs> the moment he described the man he saw, I knew you were the one. But I'm just wondering why an old priest like you should lead a strange man to behold the nakedness of Omambola woman. And you knew I was having my birth there. To rape with the eyes may not be as bad as rape for real. That is with the physical strength. We needed that rape with the eyes to have a link with the rape that led to death. But old one, you told me that Elulu was going to handle it himself. So, why did it come up again? We are apostles working for the gods. I am sorry he saw you. But take it as one of the sacrifices you made for Elulu. He will see you smile at the end. I don't understand you. <laughs> what did you do that warranted your being carried out of the palace? You see, I don't want to go into that. What I now know is the way few fell. And that other one, the co-priest of the oracle, both of them are jesters. And they can play their game with other people and succeed. There is no way they will ever succeed with my niece. 
Anene, ijikwanya kiku. Is this you? Really you? Mune wu. When did you change? Or did you hear anything? This year. I didn't just hear. I had a revelation last night. Two priests of an oracle. Oracle of Ozemede. We are raping an innocent girl who was forced into marriage. Snack in a man. What? The innocent girl eventually found out after the marriage that she was actually married Oracle of Ozemede. And they were raping her for three uninterrupted days, tied her down in the bush and were raping her. Goodness me. Unbelievable. It took that revelation for me to start asking myself a lot of questions. Those maidens that I eventually married to the Oracle, who are the men that sleep with them, if not the priests of these oracles? Mm. Mm. And you know that naturally, the maidens will always resist these priests and they will be, they will be raped. I now know after the revelation that this is exactly what they have planned to unleash on our own Osnashi. And I came here this morning to meet Osnashi and apologize. Because I know she would be very angry with me for what I did and what I said last night. Where is she? Hey. Uh, Osinachi? Yes. Osinachi went to Enuabu Mimi to see her mother's younger sister. Anene. Anene. I'm happy about this, your revelation. It was so clear. This your revelation is an eye open now. Hmm. Eh? Let me tell you. You see this whole arrangement of marrying off a maiden to the oracle does not make sense to me. It does not make sense to me as, as well. We must stand and fight it. And that is exactly what I have started. Yeah, Look at this. The same Klanot they brought with them last night. Mm. What do you want me to do with this? And then, uh, I told you last night, do not touch that cooler. You went ahead and, and, and picked it. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Though. Okay, sorry to have bothered you with this. I, I'm, I'm, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to handle it. You will? Oh, I want to eat. <sighs> um, there is roasted yam in here, or in case you're hungry. Is she? I am not hungry. I am angry. Mm. Very, very angry with the king. Because I have every reason to believe he's part of this. It's possible. You needed to have seen his face when I confronted him. Hey, man, <laughs> there is no way he can exonerate himself. Ah, I know why you came to me. Now that your mother is no more here to guide you. I am now your mother. And you trust me. That's why you're here. I'm impressed. So, can you please tell me everything you know about this panther from Umako village? I've already told you everything, Auntie. He's just a man that can go all out for the woman that he loves. Importantly, he's made me an oath to marry just me and me alone. And all my life, that has been my desire. To marry a man who would not desire another. Mr. Nachi, I think you're deviating from what your mother said. I don't understand. I mean, the condition you are attaching to this man who will marry you is quite different from what your mother told me before she died. He must be a man with massive respect. A man people pay homage to. It doesn't really matter if you're his only wife or not. I would not get married to a man 
who is married. I will not get married to a man who is going to marry after marrying me. No. My husband is supposed to be for me and for me alone. I do not want to share him. I found that man. He is Indubizu, the hunter from Umako. This Indubizu, the hunter from Umako village, does he have the respect among people? I mean, do people pay him homage? I know that he has the potential to attain that height. He will. Your mother loved you so much. I'm sure she won't be happy where she is to finally see that you disobey her. No, I'm not disappointing her. <laughs> At the end of the day, marriage is all about love. And he loves me. And I love him too. And to just bless us so that we can leave. I am not comfortable with the way you are looking round the oracle. What are you doing here? Away from you, fella. Speak! When a maiden is married to the oracle, who is the man or who are the men that sleep with her? I ask because the oracle is a deity that cannot sleep with any woman. Can you name me a baby? When you leave this oracle today, do not ever come back here. Noted. I will not come back. But can you please answer the question? Leave! Silo! Ndebaya say no bo na via dromolila. Any merchandise that is not good to be sold must be returned to wherever it is coming from. This is the same Ojugo you brought with you last night. I have returned it back to this oracle with seven additional kulanots to announce to the oracle that two Sinashi will never be married to this oracle. The oracle will not kill me. Because both of you who are the ambassadors of this oracle have not provided leadership. By answering simple question. We must know who is the man that is marrying the woman for real before we release the woman to be married. And as long as both of you are not willing to answer this question. Understand it. That Osinash is not going anywhere. Then all Jinjibia. You can scan the wound. God. Mm. The only thing you have done by this action, you have just made yourself a priest before this oracle. You are going to see what you seek. For how long must we continue to tolerate this insult before this oracle? For how long? If they fail to bring that Medino Sinachi before this oracle, I shall use my powers. Achalugo mama lama O sinachi Nekwe kawia neke koma O sinachi Ifi cholo kumbegegi O sinachi O sinachi Uncle, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Uncle. 
I'm not going to ask you where you're coming from because I already asked your father and he told me that you went to see your mother's younger sister in Eno Abomeme. And I know you're coming from there. Uncle, I don't know why you're asking after me. But if he has anything to do with getting married to the Oracle, then it's a no. The truth, as it is now, is that you will never be married to any Oracle. Yes. I told your father already, and I'm happy telling you the same thing. I don't understand. I thought you were in support of them. That was yesterday, my dear. And I did because I had no information of what maidens that are married to the deities and oracles. I had no information of what they face. I now have additional information on that subject, and I'm telling you that there is nothing that will ever make you to be married to any deity or any oracle. So, Uncle. What are these additional information that you acquired that made you change your mind over life? <laughs> I, I do not know what you people are still doing here. I'm not owing any of you anything. Why are you behaving as if you're too smart when you're not? Whatever you're planning is not fair to the maidens of this land. We too have come here to register our oppositions to you. And we are going to sort you out very soon. <laughs> well, it's obvious that uh, you people have come here to provoke me to the point where I will rise and slap you. You may die in the process, and they will say Ndubizu is a murderer. Now, I'm wiser than that. I want you all to leave my compound. Listen, Ndu, this is not a joke. The news is everywhere that you want to go to Uzuna and get a wife. Eh? You've even arranged that the elders should accompany you. I, 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 I don't, I don't understand. Hey, don't, hey, don't I have the right to, to, to pick any maiden from any of the villages in our kingdom or even other kingdoms? Okay. Don't I? Okay. Now you want to go to Zoom and pick a wife. Mm -hmm. How about all the maidens of this land that you've defiled? Yeah. Eh? Do you know how many maidens you've deceived here? Do you know? How can you just go to another village and go and get the wife? Eh? I'm going to miss you. Okay. Um, Adama. And uh, what's that your name again? <laughs> Amaka. See, I'm a hunter in this land. And maidens cluster around me because they like my meat. Hey. So, will I be held responsible for their stupidity? We all are from Okwele Kingdom. And I can pick any maiden as a wife from any village. Mm. Have you heard about anything of it? About the power of a woman? No, I believe that in the power of a woman cannot bring me down because I did not rape anybody. Eh? Mm -hmm. You did not rape anybody. How are we so sure that you did not rape anybody like you claim? How? Uh, uh, see, 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 see. Uh, I have an, a very big occasion coming. I just want people to leave my compound so that I can concentrate. We shall leave this compound as you have said. After all, this compound has never been a wonderful place for any of the maidens of this land. But one more thing, your fingers are burning. Coco. The agony and sorrow of all the maidens of this land that you have defied will visit you one after the other. You shall have no peace. You shall never rest till you die. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, Indu. This thing will not end here. I promise you, it will not end here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, wait, listen, 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 listen. Should listen to me. Can I ask you a question? Am I the one who banished morality from Uma? I chose to marry from Ozuno because that is the only village where you can get a woman, a maiden who is decent enough to stay in their husband's house without opening their legs to other people. Uh, in fact, you would just get out. Get out! Get out! Come on! Get out! Let's go. Move. Hey, come to think of it. How did they know that I'm making arrangements to marry? 
It was only two elders I told this. Two elders I told so much. Does it mean that men also gossip? The revelation was timely. There was a maiden married to the oracle that was revealed to me. And for three days, the priests of that same oracle tied her down in the bush and we are raping her. I appeared. I was on the verge of, of, of releasing the maiden. And they attacked me. They nearly killed me. It then cleared from my eyes and it became clear to me that it is possible that this is what they are planning for my niece. And I already made up my mind that it will never happen. Mm. I am going to resist them with even the last drop of my blood. Mm. But Uncle, you took the colonel that left behind yesterday. <laughs> my dear, that was yesterday. When I met you coming back from Unabomme, I was actually returning from the oracle where I went to return the colonel back to the priests of the oracle. And I made it clear to the ambassadors of the oracle that my niece will never be given to their oracle. If they want a wife for the oracle, they, they have to look somewhere else. Hey, Thank you, my daughter. Welcome. Mm. 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 Are you back? I'm back. I'm so tired. Yes. What's the matter? Nine. What is this thing that I'm hearing? What do you do here? The rumor is everywhere in the market that our own Osinachi will be getting married to the oracle. <laughs> <laughs> Almost all the people in the market, we are discussing the same thing. I was told, my mother told me the loneliness that comes with being the wife of the oracle. And I kept wondering the fate of our Osinachi if she marries the oracle finally. No, Maka, my dear wife, do me one favor because there is still time. I want you to go back to the market, gather all those rumor merchants that were discussing that topic, and tell them to their faces that their sisters will be the ones that will be married to the oracle, not us, Nachi, my niece. She has a man of Omoako that wants to marry her, and that man of Omoako must be the one that will be her husband. Us, Nachi, my niece must never be married to any oracle. I like the boldness, my husband. Uh -huh. I like the boldness. Uh, Betty Nani, do you think you have what it takes to challenge the oracle? Mama. Auntie, I am the one who is getting married. I should choose a man for myself. Uh -huh. And I know what I want. And certainly, getting married to a deity it's not one of my plans at all. That's my girl. If they want a wife for the other could they have to look somewhere else? I won't. I know me and come on, Yaka. Amaka, do you know what I think? I think we should teach him to be a very urgent lesson. He, he, he thinks that the maidens of this land cannot do anything to him. That's why he keeps let's teach him an urgent lesson. What kind of lesson will he teach such a man with that character? He said all the maidens cluster around him just because of his needs. He said he can go to any lens to prove that it's the maidens that came for him. He never went for any of them. I thought about his claims and I think they are partially right if you may ask me. Amaka, how can you possibly say that? How can you say he's partially? What do you mean partially right? Well, to you or all the maidens in this land, you may be thinking he's right. But to me, he is not right. He was the one that came for Amaka, believe me, he's the one that came for me now. Eh? Am I going to lie to you again? Are you serious? Amaka Indubizu came for he came for me. I never Hey, tell me what happened.
why do you touch me like that? I don't like it. Don't touch me like that again. <laughs> Listen to me. When a man loves a woman, he goes out of his way to satisfy her lust and vanity. I have come here this morning to announce my love for you and my readiness to satisfy your lust and your vanity. Mm. I don't know what you mean, hmm? but listen to me. My father will soon be back from checking his palms. Just go before he meets you here. Forget about your father. I know your father's time to be like the back of my hand. And I know that we still have one more hour. Listen, come. I brought meat for you. Meat. See? Real meat. Good meat. It's yours. Take it. Take it. Take it. Just take it. See, let me tell you something. The best time to appreciate a woman's beauty is in the morning when the sun is just rising. At that moment, she has not enhanced her beauty. She's just the way, the natural way the creator made her. And I want to tell you the truth. I am not disappointed with what I've seen. You know what? Okay, thanks for the meat. I must admit that I like it. But you have to go now. Go before my father comes. Oh, no, 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 no. See, accept my gift of meat. Eh? As the one who eats the better part of everything I kill. Okay, accept it. Just like that. Have I also told you that the sun and the moon rise in your eyes? That same sun and the moon also set in your eyes. Mm -hmm. oh, Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. I, I can't believe you actually got me such an expensive gift. It's only fit for a queen. A queen? And that's what you are. A queen. Ada, my queen. Ada, let me tell you something. There's something in you that I have never ever seen in any other woman. You see Ada? When you sing, you sing like an orchestra of angels. Mm -hmm. And when you dance, you dance like a mermaid. Oh. Come here. Listen. I see in you a total fulfillment of my dreams. Okay. Are you trying to say I'm good enough to be your wife? <laughs> you see this outfit I bought for you? I wouldn't have bought it for you if I didn't have so much love for you. But listen, the time is coming when that girl will be needed. I love you and I will always love you. <laughs> All the nonsense he was saying the other day hey. that made his cluster around him because of his meat. He came to my father's house and professed love. As a matter of fact, he was so serious that I, I hey, look at me now. I, I, I regret ever having anything to do with him. My dear, I believe that other maidens were also caught in the same web of deception. He lied his way into the hearts of other maidens. Yes. Now you understand. See, let us beat him. If we beat him up, it will send a clear warning to whoever is nursing the same idea in their mind. They lure our women into their bed. Let us beat him up. Maka, let's beat him up. Eh? See, it is a war that we must wage against them. Jesus. Maka, what am I saying? Hey! Is that not the, the dreaded Ojima staff? Amaka, see, people do not carry that staff except the first sacrifice they made in. Does that mean that they've killed the maiden? I also know that any man carrying that staff must not be alone. And why is he alone? Amaka, let's go. Why is he alone? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 
There are men who believe that they are standing with people, whereas they are standing alone. Daughters of Umaku should not gather to discuss the end of a man who is standing alone. One more thing. When you get to meet the king, tell him that there were kings before him who ruled the people and warmed their ways into the hearts of the people because they established the truth. They never dismissed anyone because they knew that the people were important. Go! Amaka, let's go. Why would you seek to sleep with me? Listen, from the way you're talking, it's a confirmation of the fact that you're still a virgin. So, if you know that I'm a virgin, why would you want to defile me? I'm here because you told me you'd be going to the bush. Uh -huh. And that you will lead me to my father's settlement in Anna. It is clear to me that you had other plans. Oh, no, 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 no. How can you say things like that? See, I'm a great hunter. But I don't go for all those small, small animals that move in the afternoon. I go for deadly animals that move at sunset. And we'll still go. Say now, just give me what I want. Just come now. Wait, wait. Just give me what I want. Wait, wait. wait. Let, let me be sincere with you. In the busy. Oh, oh, what's that your name again? Okay. You will not have me. And I will never, ever follow you to the bush. It's, it's, it's obvious you want me to rape you. See, just do, I will do exactly what I've said I will do. See, I've done it before and I will still do it again. Just like that. Wait, wait. 